What's going on everybody, my name is Ruka, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to set up the Gaumon M10K battery free graphics tablet. And here we have it, the Guaman M10K battery free graphic tablet. It's a 2018 model. Now let me show you guys how it looks on the inside. So I'm going to unbox it for you guys. And there we have it. We start with the tablet. And here's how the tablet looks. It's very clean, it's very neat. It's got buttons on the side uh, that you can program. I'll show you guys in a minute how that works. And then in the rest of the package is a pouch for you to carry it along. It's a nice satin pouch that has the logo Gaumon. Uh, feels quite nice and I'm sure it'll protect the tablet. So let me get rid of that one. And then we have the pen that we need to operate the tablet, which has got a point over here, which is the thing that's been read or been read. Uh, so I'm lefty, so this is how I'm going to use the tablet. And then the tablet also comes with a lot of extras. It comes with this clip that you can use to either get rid of a pen or to attach a new one and some extra pens in case the other one gets worn out. So I'm gonna put those on the side. And then we've got the manual and we've got a hand glove. And a glove goes over your hand like this. Uh, you can use it on your right hand as well, obviously, but since I'm a lefty, I'm going to use it. And the reason why I'm going to use this is because it won't smudge the tablet. So it'll stay nice and clean. And I like that it comes with a uh, option like this. And then there's one more thing left in the package, which is the USB cable, uh, which you connect to the tablet. It's a mini USB, Let's see if it can focus, and the USB into the computer. So that's pretty awesome. The wire is long enough for my taste. So I kind of like how this looks. Let me show you guys the tablet one more time. So. Here's the tablet, and like I said, it's got buttons on the side. Uh, you can use this to scroll, you can increase the brush size, you can decrease the brush size, and you can use it to scroll the web pages as well. And then you've got more buttons over here that you can pre-program. So let's jump behind the computer and let me show you guys how to set it up. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to www.gaumon.net slash download. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drive her download. We're going to scroll down and I'm using Windows, so I've used this one. But if you use a Mac, you can use this one. And here's the manual. So what you need to do is you need to download the desired driver and then go to that folder and open it. And once you've opened it, this is the menu that you see. It's an about page. And here we can really change the preferences of this tablet. But let me show you guys how to do that. So. I'm going to press keys and here you see that you can change all of these different buttons. So those are the buttons that you see on the left side of my tablet, which is over here. So you've got five on the top and you've got a mouse type button and then we've got five on the bottom. I've changed the first button to open up Darktable and I've changed the second button to open up GIMP. I haven't changed any of these buttons just yet, but watch what happens. So now I'm going to press this button and you'll see that Darktable is starting to open on my computer. And now Darktable has been opened up. I'm going to show you guys these pictures in a different tutorial. So let's go back to GIMP again. And now let's open up the menu again. So that's how you can assign buttons. So all you gotta do is you gotta click it, then click this button, and then it'll allow you to change the settings. So the first option is the keyboard combination keys, a combination of Control, Shift, Alt, and Windows key, or you can assign it to a mouse button, or to use a switch function, or to run a different program. So for the first two buttons, I've chosen to run a program, which is Darktable and GIMP. But what I've done as well is, let me hit cancel, I've assigned the lower ones. So I've assigned the first one, which is this button over here. I've assigned it to refresh the page, so it's going to press F5. And then the second button, which is this one, I have assigned to Control Z, which is very handy because if I'm editing something in a picture, let me show you guys, so I'm going to close it. If I edit something in this picture, so for instance, let's say that I want to paint in some white. Let me increase the brush size a little bit by scrolling this button over here to the left. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint white over me. There you go. And over the dog. There we go. And now let's say I want to undo that because obviously this looks very bad. All I gotta do is I gotta press this button and now everything is undone and I can start all over. So let's go back to the program again. I've reopened it, so here we go. And I've assigned this button to Control Z to copy, this one to Control V to paste, and this one is assigned to F5, but that's standard, I haven't changed anything. Now let me go to the second tab, which is the digital pen. You can change the pressure sensitivity adjustment, so minus two or plus two, and that decides how sensitive the pen is. Now, the current pressure value, if I press down the pen, now I've got it pressed all the way down. Now I've got it pressed slightly. So here you can see there how much pressure is being applied when you're pressing the pen down on the tablet with your fingers. And then you can assign the two buttons that are on the pen itself. So I've got the first button, which I've assigned to the right mouse button. And then I've got the second button, which I've assigned to the left button, which is very handy because I can now click and select everything by clicking the lower button, as you can see over here. And if I click the first one, which is the right mouse button, so let's say I'm going to click it in here, then you see that it's going to select the right mouse button options. So that's pretty cool. So let's go back, let's select it, there we go. Then you've got the work area, and that shows you what you're working with. You can assign this to several displays. So I've got two displays. The first one is for my laptop. The second one is my 4K screen from LG, which I've set to 920 by 1080 because one of you guys left a comment on my channel on a video saying that everything was very hard to watch because it was in 4K, so it was very tiny. So I decided to change this to 1920 by 1080 for all my tutorials. So let me click outside of that box and you can change it to full area or to screen ratio. You can assign a custom area, but this is basically the area that we're working with. And I'm pretty sure you can't tell on the video, but we've got one hook, two hook, three hooks, four hooks, and that's the area in which you need to work. So that's basically the size of your screen that you can use to work on. And then the last one is the about one. I've already showed you guys that, but that's it. So once again, you've got the press keys in which you can assign the several keys. Then you've got the digital pen, you've got the work area, and you've got the about page. So let me close this one down. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is if I press this middle button over here, it gives me the option to zoom in, adjust the brush size, or to scroll up and down. So once again, I can zoom in and out, I can adjust the brush size, or I can scroll up and down. So let me put it back to adjust brush size. Now if I scroll this way, the brush will become bigger. And if I scroll the other way, the brush will become smaller. Now let's go to a website. So here's a website of one of my subscribers, Mark Adams. His website is www.mgadamsphotography.webstars.com. So let's say I want to scroll down. All I gotta do is press this button to make sure that scroll up and down is selected. And now if I spin this wheel, I will scroll down. If I spin it the opposite way, I will scroll up. So that's pretty awesome. Make sure you check out his websites though, various photos. And as you can see, he's got a lot of awesome photos. They look absolutely amazing. So be sure to give him a shout out in the comment section. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I'm very happy with this tablet. It works fine in GIMP. It works fine in Darktable. So I'm definitely going to use this. If you've got any questions about this product, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can answer them. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!